All right. Hey, today we're going to look at a chat GPT competitor called Claude.ai. And this particular video is titled Neuron Writer plus Claude.ai. And the reason I'm combining these two together is lots of people use ChatGPT to write blog posts, but Anthropic is a competitor to OpenAI. So they've created Claude, and Claude is in beta testing right now, sort of like ChatGPT is. And we can write uh, really good blog posts using Claude. So what I wanted to do is show you an alternative to ChatGPT and um, give you an idea of just how, how good the output is from this tool. I really like it a lot, um, and I'll be interested if you go out and you try writing some blog posts. I'll be curious to see what you think. Make sure you comment and let me know whether you think it's a worthy competitor to ChatGPT. So to get started, you have to have a keyword we're going to write to. So in this case, um, I'm interested in writing a blog post on how long does it take to learn fly fishing. So what you're looking at right here is the Low Fruits interface. Low Fruits is a keyword research tool that I use quite frequently. It's good at finding long tail keywords that, that you can use for informational blog posts. It's very easy to understand. These little icons are supposed to be like little fruits, like oranges, for example. And they tell you um, just how hard it's going to be for you to uh, potentially rank for this long tail keyword. So in this case, I like this keyword to try to rank for because right now in position number one uh, is a Domain Authority 3 website. So that means there's a good chance that a well-written article could possibly push that out of the position one. So I copied that, this keyword. And what I did is I went ahead and I brought this over into Neuron Writer. I ran that query. So when you run a query in Neuron Writer, what it does is it brings back a place where you can start writing an article and in this case, we're going to post our article from Claude into the Neuron Writer interface because what I want to see is what is the SEO optimization score of a Claude written article and how close can we get to the competitor's best of 67? Now, in Neuron Writer, the easiest way to do this is here you have all the terms in the articles all the terms that you want to have in your article, basic terms and extended terms. So if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of these terms, you'll see this copy all visible terms to clipboard. So if you click on it, it actually writes a chat GPT prompt that you can take. Now it's meant for chat GPT, but I'm going to use it in Claude and see if it works there. So I grab it, it's copied. I come back over to Claude. So this is what Claude looks like. Looks a lot like ChatGPT in some ways. Uh, it's a conversational chat bot. So we're gonna start a new chat. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we're going to copy that prompt into Claude. Now I'm gonna make a small adjustment. I'm going to ask Claude to write a, not a 2,000 word blog post, but a 4,000 word blog post. And note all these terms. These are the title terms, H1 terms, H2 terms, the extended and basic terms that Neuron Writer thinks needs to be in this article for you to rank as highly as possible in Google. Now I'm going to do a couple of things to this prompt before we start it. Uh, so let me add those items. So all I did is I just said, add a key takeaway section, add a frequently asked question section. So that's what I added to the prompt. Made it a 4,000 word prompt, added those two extra sections. Let's have Claude write the article. 
So in the interest of time, I may edit this so you don't have to watch Claude write the article, but let's just see how fast it goes. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised at how fast uh, this particular um, AI tool writes. So here it is, it's starting off this article. Here's a 4,000 word blog post on learning to fly fish as a beginner. But as you can see, uh, you know, it's writing in HTML markdown, it's writing very quickly. And so when this is completed, I'll go ahead and uh, move on to the next step. All right, we're getting toward the end of the article now. We're at the key takeaways section. And here are the frequently asked questions and we are just about complete with this article. Now, I have uh, a fairly extensive background in fly fishing. I've been fly fishing since I was 10 years old. So the one thing that I'd like to do just quickly is scrub through the article, and I'd like to let you know what I think about the quality of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the top here. Sorry for all the scrolling. Um, and as I read through this, what I like about uh, this particular article is some AI writers uh, write these gigantic introductions. And this has a nice short introduction and gets people right into the post itself. Um, why learn to fly fish? Just looking through here to see if there's anything out of the ordinary where just factually it's bad. So casting a fly rod, this could be difficult to write about. It's usually something that's better shown in a video. Uh, but as it was writing the article, I read through this and it did a great job describing this, uh, which can typically be difficult for uh, AI writing tools to do. It's, it's a really good article. I like it. I might add a personal anecdote or two, uh, but in general, I think it's quite well written, has a nice conversational tone of voice. So the one thing I, I liked about it is it didn't sound really robotic and it didn't sound like it was too encyclopedic, like somebody was reading it out of a textbook. So let's copy this and let's see what the initial SEO scores are. Now, of course, the, you know, Neuron Writer created created this particular prompt to use, so it should be pretty good. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and copy the article in. Now, the one thing that uh, we wanna make sure and do is we need to write about how long does it take to learn fly fishing. So this needs to get changed. We're gonna grab this and we need to add some meta content in here. So we're gonna put that in. You know, the meta description doesn't really boost the score that much. So we're just going to go ahead and not worry about that for the for this particular demo. But right away, using Neuron Writer's uh, prompt, pulling it in, in, into Claude, letting Claude write the article. Notice it's almost 2,000 words. I asked it to write 4,000. It gave me 2,000. Other competitors in this particular area were writing articles over 2,000 words, so the scoring would go up a bit if we could boost the number of words. But you know what? This is close enough. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Notice the competitor's best score is a 67. We're at a 68. Now, I can guarantee you this score could be boosted more if you wanted to. So... Um, Basic terms, definitely we could find a place to add fly fishing guide, I'm sure. And that would definitely boost the score a little bit. Extended terms in Neuron Writer don't boost the score as much, but they do help. So there's plenty of terms here that we might be able to add within this post. Uh, the one thing I always like to check is terms and headers. Uh, here, there are quite a few H2 terms that could help. And even in the H1, so we wanna keep how long does it take to learn fly fishing, but the secondary title, uh, we could uh, make a change to and boost the score. So here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video 
I'm going to make just a few changes to the headers and show you uh, with a, uh, just a little bit of massaging, we could bring the score up even higher. So hang on and I'll be back in a second. All right, so I've went ahead, I've made some changes. Uh, basically what I did is I went in, made some changes to the H2 terms. And as you can see, I brought the score up to 73. Now, there is one last thing that you can do in Neuron Writer if you have access to the advanced AI writing tools. So if you have Neuron Writer, if you bought into Neuron Writer's lifetime deal with three or more codes, you should have access to these advanced AI writing tools that you're looking at right here. One of them happens to be the FAQ with unused terms. So this is sort of the secret weapon. If you really want to try to boost your post even higher to an even higher score. So now we ask Claude to write a frequently asked questions section. But in this case, what I'm going to do is even though we have a score of 73, the competitor's best is 67. I'm going to go ahead and delete the FAQ written by Claude and I'm going to add the FAQ with unused terms from the Neuron Writer Advanced AI Writing Tools. So I'm going to set my generation setting at high and I'm just going to write it in ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo. I'm going to click Write for Me and we'll wait here for a second and we'll see if the score changes. All right, using that advanced AI writing tool, now we went from a 73 to an 82. The competitor's best is a 67. So again, if you don't have the advanced tools, the advanced AI writing tools in Neuron Writer, that's okay. You could see with Claude and using just the standard prompt that Neuron Writer created for you, you got a score of a 73 after you after I went in and tweaked some of the headings, which you could do yourself very easily. Uh, so anyway, uh, this is uh, what you can do with Anthropic, which is an OpenAI competitor. Claude is the chat bot, similar to ChatGPT, where you can put prompts in and write blog post articles like the one here with this prompt. And I just think the combination of Neuron Writer and Claude together uh, is a very powerful one that will allow you to create blog posts um, that will compete with other websites and hopefully gain you some higher rankings in Google. So until next time, take care.